Hi guys, what's going on and welcome back to another video on Chivalry 2. So, quite a lot of you were asking questions in the last Chivalry video or saying you're really struggling with some of the combat mechanics and can't really improve. And whilst I am far from the greatest Chivalry player in the game, I have been getting on pretty well. So I wanted to share my top five biggest mistakes I keep seeing players make and learning a little bit how we can avoid them so we can all live a bit longer and slay some more Mason Order scum. Personally, I think the number one mistake newer players seem to make is just jumping into 1vx fights so willingly. It can seem really appealing to challenge four enemies at once, feel like you're about to take on half the enemy team and sort of cleft them all in twain with one heroic swing, but the reality is that the vast majority of the time you'll get outnumbered, outflanked and killed before you can even claim the life of a single enemy. It is always much better to stick with your team. If they push in a certain direction, then group up and assist that push. However, if you do find yourself in a situation where you're desperately outnumbered, then there are a few things you can do to improve your chances. Firstly, try and keep the enemy in front of you. Part of this is by backing away, but also rotating so that you're sort of forcing the enemies into a line so they can't easily hit you without either being blocked by their teammates or doing some team damage in the process. Secondly, when you do strike, aim for these pretty wide arcing swings and be sure to try and drag with your mouse through. This way you can actually often hit two or three enemies at once. And I find that in these sort of outnumbered fights, enemies tend to be greedy, trying to always get that finishing kill on you, so they rarely actually block. So if you can get a good riposte going, then you can actually hit quite a few at once. This then pretty nicely leads me on to the second most common mistake I think I regularly see. And this kind of revolves around situational awareness, watching your back, checking behind you, whatever you want to call it. You know, you'll be honorably dueling under the night in front of you, trying to time your repostes and your counters, when all of a sudden some axe-wielding maniac runs up behind you and lops your head off. That was because you tunnel-visioned into the fight you were in. We all do it, I do it a lot, but trying to keep some sort of awareness of your surroundings, where the enemies are on the battlefield, trying to avoid fighting in the middle of these huge courtyards where people are coming from all different angles, is a great way to try and avoid being surprised. Because, as I'm sure we all know, it is far, far, far easier to get a kill an enemy when you can just sneak up behind him and wipe them out with one heavy hit for your rare weapon. Fighting honorably is for losers. Either take advantage of this and just club enemies from behind when you get the opportunity, because it's an easy kill, but try and prevent the enemy from doing it. Fight towards the edges, don't just stand around in a long drawn out fight in the middle of a courtyard because you will get yourself outflanked and you will get killed from behind. Tip number three, kicks and jabs in combat whilst in chivalry. It's all about initiative, almost like whose turn is it to land a hit? If I swing and land a hit on an enemy and immediately follow that up with a second swing, if the enemy doesn't block, jab or evade, they are guaranteed to get hit. If they try to swing back at me, I would land my hit first because I already have the initiative because I'm following up on my first hit. It's my turn to land that hit. Likewise, if they did block my first hit and they reposted, then they would land their hit first if we both tried to strike because they gained the initiative when they blocked and reposted. So that means they have the initiative. They would land their hit first. This can be pretty confusing at first for newer players, but understanding who has the initiative is key to learning what your next move should be, whether you should be blocking, striking, kicking, jabbing, or just trying to evade. And the game gives us a number of ways to reset this initiative and then gain the upper hand. Of course, you can block the boss and, and counter pretty easily, but against more advanced opponents, you'll find that most of the time they'll be able to block and counter your attack pretty easily and you'll just get into a sort of a stalemate back and forth and whilst it looks very cool, the odds of you actually landing hits and doing damage is really pretty low. If, however, an opponent is blocking too much, then you can really start to make use of kicks. 
If you land a kick on an opponent, it's going to cause them to stagger, and it's actually going to give you enough time to land a free hit, basically, on your opponent. So you can kick, swing, and basically get a free hit while they're staggering. Sometimes, if the enemy doesn't even react properly, you can kind of chain this. Kick, swing, kick, swing, until they're pretty much dead. However, whilst the kick stuns a blocking opponent, it doesn't interrupt an enemy attack. So if an enemy is starting to kick at you, if you swing, then actually you won't get staggered because your attack is already in motion and you will land your hit. Likewise, you should not be trying to kick an enemy once they start to swing because you're only going to get hit and you're not going to be staggering them. I guess tip number four could really be integrated into number three. But excess blocking is a very, very common sight amongst newer players and something that is always very tempting to do due to the continuous block mechanics in Chivalry 2. But not only is this draining your vital stamina that you actually need to fight with, but it also makes you a very easy target for other players. Kicks, as we talked about in tip 3, are always going to kick through that block and you're just going to find yourself almost permanently stunned and staggered before death comes up to greet you. Don't continuously block. Learn to push, learn to be on the offensive. This is really how you're going to improve and grow as a player, how you're going to learn to sort of get those swings in. Don't be afraid to attack. Better to be aggressive and die than passive and die all the same anyway. Finally, I wanted to end with the never give up. It doesn't matter if you've lost your arm, you're down on the floor, you're about to be surrounded by another eight players, always fight to the very end. And it's surprising how many extra kills you can grab with only one arm or a butter knife, or how often you can actually crawl away from the fight and still be revived by your team. And yet, so many players get down and just sit there waiting to die. An enemy is trying to run away from you, but just give up, chase him, throw your weapon at him, pick up a chicken and throw it at him. It's surprising how many kills you can get following up with stuff like that. Other mini little tips that I didn't yet mention are things like swing and miss, if you swing your attack and you miss, you can't immediately go into a recovery block. There is a delay, so you need to be careful about randomly swinging, particularly if you're close to enemies. If you're not confident, you're going to be landing that hit, as it does expose you. Likewise, on the flip, if an enemy swings and misses you, you can sometimes follow up and land a hit before they can actually recover from that swing and actually get back into the blocking stance. But I wanted to keep this video fairly short, so we're going to end up ending it there. Hopefully this has been vaguely helpful. As I said at the start, I'm far from the greatest chivalry player ever, but with so many new players in the game, and I had spent a fair bit of time playing it in the close beta, I thought I'd just share those few tips that at least I found helpful in kind of trying to improve my combat sort of abilities a little bit. I didn't really touch on, well, I didn't touch on any of the archery or, or crossbow or range stuff here because I don't really enjoy playing the range classes. So yeah, I haven't even touched them actually since the game released. So yeah, you'll have to go check out another video for that. If you have any questions, do put them in the comments down below and I'll try and get back to you and answer them. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As I say, do let me know, do give it a like and subscribe to the channel for lots more chivalry content. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all on the next one.